Welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on the Denali. Uh, it has had a slow leak on the air conditioner for the last couple months. Uh, one of my videos showed me recharging it back up and hoping that that would fix it, but that did not fix it because it did have a slow leak, which makes a lot of sense to why it leaked out. Generally, these don't leak out. It kind of slowly leaked out. It would work for about a month. We put some dye in there, we located it. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start tearing apart and see what we're looking at. For replacing your condenser, this is uh, what you'll need. Just a simple socket set. You will need some type of pick, screwdriver, little pry tool. The main socket you'll be using is a 13. Uh, you'll also be using a 10, an eight, and a half inch. Uh, some extensions are nice and maybe some wobbly bits, but uh, that's what you'll need. Uh, the process to remove it, the condenser, uh, the first thing is you will remove these clips here. After you remove this cover, you will then remove the airbox, the bottom of the airbox, these bars right here. Okay, then what you'll do is there's a cross member here. You'll be removing the cross member right here. After you remove the cross member, there is a plastic piece that goes straight over the radiator. You'll remove this. Then you will remove the lines that go to the condenser. Uh, the top lines are for the transmission fluid. Uh, one's right here. You can kind of see the line because they're up here. Three of them. Uh, the other one is back here, and then there's uh, actually there's two at the bottom that kind of we'll use one bolt to screw them both in. So um, you unhook those. Um, then you will go ahead and unhook these two screws right here. There's one right there, one right here. Then you will unhook the condenser and pull it straight up. And then uh, that's how you put it, uh, you just reverse those processes and put it back in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do all that stuff. Next, here you go. First thing we're doing is we're removing this tray right here. The fan shroud uh, hides the radiator and everything underneath it. So we'll be removing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like all of those, you can kind of see it. Best way to remove these clips, nothing special. They have a little slot for a screwdriver. Kind of pop right out. And then I got a little pry tool. You can also get that out with a screwdriver, but got the point. After pulling out the 12 clips, this thing should come right up. All right. After we removed the tray here, we actually got to remove this support beam right here. Also, we got to remove this bar and the air box in order to kind of get under here to unhook this because there are bolts underneath this to get it out. Anyway, let's go ahead and start that process. This bolt requires a 10 millimeter. Remove that sensor and we want to disconnect this joint right here. That way the airbox will shut off. Okay, it requires an eight millimeter socket. And the whole purpose of taking this box off is so you can get under here.
that over there. We're just trying to get it out of the way. In order to remove this bottom box thing, you have to remove it to get this little case out. You gotta pull it up. There's just three rubber grommets that are holding us down. One in the front, two in the back. You can't really see them, but you just gotta pull um, <laughs> probably hard. So I'm gonna try to do that now. There we go. Here's those three points I was talking about. One, two, three. Okay, now that the lower box is out of the way, freeze up the portion right here to take this out. Um, there's just these standard clips right there. Pop those out that we can get underneath here. These are three bolts right underneath here. Let's do that now. Okay, now I get you the flap out of the way. There's a bolt right here. So here, here, and here on this side. And they're 10 millimeter bolts. And we'll get those out right now. I'm gonna use one of these ratchet wrenches with a flex head. Okay, that's what the bolts look like. Just one all the way in this far corner. Right here. Same thing on this side, cut the three bolts. A little easier to get to, you don't have to remove the air box. Now after you got the six bolts off, three over here, three over there, you gotta get this half inch nut off. We're gonna do that right now. After you undo the front one, you got these two to loosen up. It's the only thing holding it on there. And one over here, one over there. Looks like that same half inch. Okay. Now that those two mounts are out, we can go ahead and remove this thing. Now we have access to the upper radiator and the condenser. All right, now what we wanna do is just remove this plastic piece. It just pops right off. In order to pop this off, you gotta pull these two clips off, one from each end, and then uh, from the center, just uh, pull straight up. You're good to go. You can kind of see the condenser now. All them dead bugs. So on these connectors, the way to get them off is there's this rubber boot right here. You pull this off, and then you have a snap ring 
that holds us on here. It's not something you unscrew or anything like that. You don't unscrew that. This is a snap ring. You just gotta pull it out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, this pulled right out. I had to give it a little bit of pressure, but it came right out. All right, for the bottom ones, oh, we're gonna try to hit it from the top. There's a 13 millimeter bolt that you have to undo. Let me show it to you right now. It is right there. And we're gonna undo that bottom line right now. Now that I have this bad boy out, the, I believe this is a transmission cooling line. AC lines down there. When transferring, when transferring everything back over to the new one, you will have to take this stud and put it on here. Um, I use a five millimeter socket to remove it from the old one to put it on over here. The new part did not come with this. That's my part. I don't know what your part may come with, but five millimeter socket will fit right on there or the reverse Torx bits will work too, I guess. But I went ahead and put that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and start putting it in. All right, so on the old condenser, where it was leaking was right in here. So if you look on this right here, there's three little points right there. These are known to crack and um, start leaking. So on the new ones, they stopped doing that three little point here. They have a much more solid connection point for this bar right here to avoid that leaking. So when you're buying a new one of these, make sure it doesn't look like that. It looks more like this. That way you know you have a good quality parts from the last. What I'm doing right now is these are four tabs that you're sliding them in right here. Top tab, bottom tab. I was just making sure those were lined up. Now that they're all in there, it should be locked in there pretty nicely, top and bottom. And then we can start taking those retaining clips off and put these on. Something else to note, the new one actually did come with a new um, uh, C-clip in here. Um, so I'm just gonna use the new ones, not the old ones. Now I just gotta get them off. Thank you. 
video I'm um, gonna have uh, the system vacuumed and loaded with uh, Freon so again I have the box installed this installed I just gotta put the top cover on and we are good but I want to make sure I don't have any leaks so you guys will see it firsthand if there are any leaks and the leaks is from the transmission fluid uh, from the transmission cooler because it's built into the condenser so let me see if I can get you a good shot. It'll leak right here. So hopefully it doesn't leak.
Okay, no leaks on this side. Oh. Looks like I have a leak on this side. Okay, got to tighten it back up. All right. We have no more leaking. I went ahead and reseated it off camera. But uh, this is good. Let's pop that back on there. I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't start leaking again. This one's still not leaking. All right, just put the top cover on. Yeah. Well, I had to go replace something, but I quickly went there and came back. Yeah. I had to go through that area already. All day. Are you done? Yeah, I'm literally all done. Put it all back together. You took out the whole engine and then put it back together? The whole engine. What did you have to do? Uh, take out the condenser. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Boring. Boring. Late. What do you got going on? Nothing. But you're not going to do anything? Well, everything's kind of closed right now. Yo, mama. It's a few days later, I've got my AC recharged and it is working perfect. Um, after I went to Tim to go ahead and have the system recharged and vacuumed, he did notice that one of the O-rings at the very bottom, I couldn't reuse the one I had, we had to use a, a new one. So we went ahead and replaced that little O-ring at the very bottom and recharge system has been working for good for over a week now. So this is a progress update, it's working. I have AC again in my truck. I know in other parts of the country it is cold as balls, but uh, in Florida it is beautiful weather as you can see. Nice and sunny Florida. Anyway, if you have any questions about this replacement, if I could have done things better, if I missed something, just let me know. I can answer any questions. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.